Good evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Dumb Out TV. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for brand new content. This your boy, Gold Mouth Shorty. Let me get straight down to business. Today, we finna talk about that beef that Benzino and the Maid Man had with DMX and the Rough Riders. Now, this beef came to a head when the two groups met up in Boston uh, right before a, a DMX show, live performance, you know what I'm saying, on that Cash Money uh Rough Riders tour, you feel me? But let me go ahead and get y'all the real scoop of what happened, man. First of all, Benzino, man, that dude down here done in Boston, man. And everybody know uh, the two states, Massachusetts and uh, New York, always clash. You know what I'm saying? They don't get along too much, but you know, it's all East Coast. You know what I'm saying? In Boston, you know what I'm saying? They always had a reputation for tearing up concert venues, you know what I'm saying, and DMX, it wasn't no uh, no different situation in this situation, you know what I'm saying, all in all, the beef sparked when, you know, DMX called one of uh, the main man homies, girlfriend, to the trailer, and had sex with her, and he had kept the man chick too long, and then, you know, the maid mans went looking for the chick, and then they found her in DMX's room, so it was war. And, you know, uh, Benzino already slapped around a whole bunch of New York rappers way back since the early 90s. A lot of people don't know. Benzino used to book artists and have them come from Philly, uh, New York, and uh, different parts of, like, uh, New uh North Carolina and Virginia and when he book them he'll slap the artists when they get there. A lot of people don't know that. You know, he'll throw bottles on them, break bottles over their head, man. This dude is a real one, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. This man has so many bar fights out there in Boston, man. That's all they do. So when DMX came through, they say, Man, we gonna tear this shit up, man. Straight up. So what ended up happening was DMX them thought them boys was playing because, you know, DMX thinking, man, these some Spanish cats, man. These cats ain't about nothing, man. Bro, them cats spit out about 50 razors, bro. And go in and slicing them niggas. So it's like DMX them was beating them with fish, but every time them boys would hit, hit one of them cats, hospital you feel me but benzino already knew what time it was you know what i'm saying he already started uh the white boy you know what i'm saying for the source so you know what i'm saying he was on on his high horse man he had all the money and you know the club venues he knew the promoters and stuff you know what i'm saying so he went in there and told that thing up and you know what i'm saying they didn't even do the show def uh DMX, them didn't even finish their show, man. That's how bad it was, man. The show got canceled. You know what I'm saying? The tour almost uh, crashed for good. And they had to put their money up themselves after that because no sponsor would uh, get behind them just because Benzino them came in that thing and tore that place up. And DMX, them weren't prepared for them type of goons and them type of situations, but they handled it good. They made sure DMS didn't get hurt. But boy, a lot of people got stabbed up. And that's just the untold truth. Anybody don't believe it. Right. Go Let's check, check on them. Any motherfucking place, any motherfucking record. And that's a person by Benzino up and all through the 80s, the 90s, and the 2000s. He done stopped all that because he's seen the real bad. You know, he done touched one. But, man, the old Benzino, if you had jewelry on, and all that though, he'll make you uh turn your turn your hat, uh twist your hat the other way. Or knock it off your head. That's what he did to Nas allegedly. When Nas and his brother them came up there to do a show, allegedly man, that man knocked Nas hat off his head, man. Straight disrespect. You know what I'm saying? In New York, Boston or whatever. And he had fifty some G's with him. And the only thing Nas did was pick up his hat, man, and just uh just, you know, relax and let the man, you know, 
stand over him because he knew he was outnumbered, man. And them dudes from Boston, when they beat you up, they don't go to the media. So all them cats that thinking that, uh, oh, uh, Chicago and Detroit, they no fly zone. Boston been a no fly zone, bro. Boston been a no fly zone before it was a no fly zone. Everybody that came through there, they most likely got their behind whooped if they had to come through Benzino or they got shorted money just because. Peace, I'm out.